Hello everyone. So in our previous video, I told you how integration, you know, integration with some limits, the long S-like symbol with A and B written over it, is uh, the area under this curve. So before I proceed with other examples of finding the area, for example, finding the distance when your velocity time graph is given, I would like to introduce you to some uh, mathematical part of it. So say we have a function, let us say, uh, capital F of X. All right. And now we differentiate this. So T by DX, F of X. So you have function, this F of X, you apply the derivative operator. And you get this small f of x. Okay. Then your f of x is called the antiderivative of your f of x. This, this right here is known as antiderivative of your f of x uh, let me take a quick let me take a quick quick example consider x square over 2 okay this function so you differentiate x square over 2 what do you get um, 1 by 2 pops out so 1 by 2 d by dx of x square so d by dx of x square is 2x okay and 2x so 2 cancels out to 1 by 2 and you are left with x so t by dx of x square is x x square by 2 is x this means that x square by 2 is the antiderivative of x this is this was a quick example now let me consider another function not really another function but yeah so something similar this is f of x plus c. Alright, so this function, the same function, but we add a constant. Okay, it does not depend on x. And now we differentiate. So we apply the derivative to this, this thing. f of x plus c. What do we get? Well, we just uh, open up, open this thing up. f of x plus d by dx of c now the derivative of a constant is zero right you have this graph and this is a constant so the slope is zero so the derivative is zero this part is zero and you're left with d by dx of f of x but what is this part this is same as well f of x small f of x so d by dx f of x plus c is equal to is still equal to f of x now this means this function is also the antiderivative of your f of x and this is not a single function this is a collection of many many functions for instance x square by 2 is one of them where this constant is 0 okay uh, if f of x uh, is x okay if you replace this with x then your f of capital f of x is x square by 2 and of course this is not the only function x square by 2 plus 1 x square by 2 minus any number say pi and so on so this represents a family okay a collection a family of such antiderivatives f of x plus c so capital f x f of x plus c now if I give you this f of x, then what will be your capital F of x? Well, let's look into it. So we have this function f of x, okay? And it's antiderivative of f of x. So a family, all the collection of such antiderivatives, okay? Um, family of anti 
derivative okay and this anti derivative is, is also known as primitive of f of x so family of primitives of f of x okay or uh, let me write this term for primitive f of x and this is given by this quantity over here okay this symbol long symbol let me this s f of x dx and what does this mean this means the indefinite integral okay this quantity represents this is the integral sign so this quantity represents the indefinite integral of f of x with respect to x so d x the quantity after d with uh, represents with which variable you are integrating is integrating with so in this case it's x obviously let me write this down so this is in definite integral of f of x with respect to x so let us revisit a concept we knew that d by dx f of x plus c is nothing but f of x right and this f of x plus c is a family of such anti derivatives of f of x okay and using this notation using this definition that we have studied of integral we can also say that your integral indefinite integral f of x the small x small f here dx is f of x plus c all right because this represents the uh, this is the family of such anti derivatives and this integral f of x dx indefinite integral f of x dx gives you such a family of anti derivatives of f of x which is capital f of x plus c uh this might not look very comfortable but let's let's work it uh, do an example and to consider the function x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 okay and uh, obviously n is not equal to minus 1 otherwise we have zero in the denominator okay and uh, let us differentiate this function okay so d by dx next to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so see and let me put a constant okay plus c plus some constant it's anyway going to be zero but for generality so d by dx of a constant is zero and when you differentiate this part the first part n plus 1 is also constant so it comes out okay so it becomes 1 by n plus 1 d by dx x to the power of n plus 1 okay and what is the what is the derivative d by dx x to the n it is n x to the n minus 1 and this case just replace uh, n with n plus 1 so wherever you see n you replace n plus 1 from this you get n plus 1 coefficient of x is uh, n so n plus 1 Times x to the power, replace n plus one minus one. Okay, this goes away. These two cancel out, and you are left with x to the power n. Okay. So let me just write it down quickly. D by dx of x to the power n plus one divided by n plus one plus some constant is x to the power of n. Okay. And using what we know. of indefinite integrals okay we can also write integral indefinite integral x to the power of n dx is equal to is equal to 
x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So in this case, your capital F of x is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by f of uh, n plus 1 and x to the power of n is acting like your small f of x and this this in this equation we have just represented this this one and uh, written the function so f of x is n, x to the n plus 1 x to the n there you go f, capital f of x is x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus some constant okay this constant can be anything now we can just put n equal to uh, 1 let us say what do we get well we get integration x dx okay indefinite integration x, x dx is equal to x to the n plus 1 so n is 1 we get x square divided by 2 plus c and that is what we uh, got a couple of minutes earlier right what did we show that d by dx of x square by 2 plus c is x so if you know this part you know this thing and you know this thing then you know this one also so both imply each other that's what this sign uh, stands for so in this video I showed you one example of how to find the indefinite integral of x to the power of n and then we saw then we just plugged in n equals to 1 and this is what we get and c can be anything okay it can be 0 so if c is 0 we get x to the x square divided by 2 if c is equal to 1 we get x square by 2 plus 1 if c is equal to minus pi okay we get x square by 2 minus pi okay so this represents entire family of antiderivatives of x the function x in our next video we'll try and develop a table of our own so we know the table of derivatives and in this in next video we'll try and make a table of antiderivatives of f of x till then stay tuned thanks for watching